Um, after bleeding out in early August, Litcoin was positioned to consolidate losses above $80 in the short term. Litecoin's having event was successfully executed on 2 August, reducing the block reward from 12 to 6.25 LTC. However, the pre- and post-having period was marked by a massive market bleed-out as sellers overwhelmed the market. On 1st August, the eve of the halving event, LTC posted 1.8% gains, but it plunged on the D-date, shedding 6.81% on 2nd August. The plunge was further aggravated by after Bitcoin lost hold of $30,000. And then on Twitter, second dollars on seven days was go back on the same day. That was a St. Bar. Uh, LTC dipped further the following day, 3rd August, shedding an extra 5.7% uh, and subsequently eased below $85. And LTC's price action has remained below $85 since the extended plunge on 3rd August. In the past few days, the altcoin formed a narrow price range between $80 as it consolidated losses. A set of Fibonacci retracement levels was plotted between the July high and the recent August low. Uh, based on the tool, LTC's recent narrow price consolidation has been constricted between the 0% $73 and 23.6% FIF $85 pocket levels. Uh, the RSI was positive, but led sideways slightly above the neutral level, indicating weak buying pressure. On the other hand, the CMF registered an uptick, but deep below as the zero mark, illustrating capital inflows were dismal. The weak metrics point to a likely $85 resistance remaining problematic for LTC in the next few hours or days, unless BTC exceeds 295 k Short-term range bound between 0%, 23.6%. Fed pocket can be on the cards. Uh, so $89 and $76 were key levels to watch uh, for any breakout above or below uh, the narrow price range. Um, at the time of writing, the live trading volume ratio from CryptoMeter set buy versus sell volume set roughly at 50 to 50% and neutral sentiment and implies the price could take any direction. Although LTC's derivative trading volume tanked by about 20% at the time of writing, the open interest rates edged slightly at plus 1.30% as per calling less. Uh, a, look at, uh, a look at the liquidation data showed uh, more longs were wrecked, but the spread between short and long liquidations across all time frames was so little. Um, so it reinforces short-term neutral inclination and range extension.